everyone, this is Melissa Arma with a stock swish and I'm reviewing Microsoft. Microsoft was the stock swish show play of the day as far as the option from the options newsletter today called the 360 calls that expire actually Friday. I was debating calling the ones for 728 and I said, no, this has got to go today <laughs> and it did. And the dream target was 365, which it actually went to and went through. Completely, completely, completely insane. Um, I was thinking six, I was thinking seven, I was thinking eight, I was thinking nine, I was even thinking 10 to get out of this. It was, it was insanity. That somebody emailed me that they actually paid 30 cents for one contract in this. Um, that was completely insane. Where it went was insane. This is a great example of what? This is a great example of momentum. One of the reasons that I like to trade momentum is because you can get big moves, fast moves, and they can happen quick. Now, I will say that I prefer to short. This was a long. Actually, look at the tail here. This isn't a real print. Um, it's what I call an invisible tech. 277.89. Look at that. And um, actually, the high today then was 366.78. So the timing of this was news came out. This was not an earnings gap. News came out and then it ran. The last time that I saw an options chain go this quick, this fast, this crazy, this insane was BYND, which was four years ago in 2019. Um, in reality, it, I, I don't even think that this, that went as well as this. Like this just took off and ran. It's like, and, and again, momentum, let's just talk about it. This is the one minute. By the way, this trade is completely, completely done. I don't know why anyone would even be in it. Some people did it, got out, did it again. Some people did it a couple times. And again, I only call one trade in this, but th this is buying people. This is institutional buying. It went straight up like a rocket vertical, straight up like a rocket vertical, straight up like a rocket vertical. I could not have timed this better for the entry and the exit. Um, I was trying to get filled a decent amount. So I, I ended up paying, I could have, I, if I had gotten less size, I definitely would have gotten filled at a cheaper price. Um, and, and I really couldn't have done better with the exit really couldn't have, but this is, you know, when you're in something like this, you kind of have to make a decision where you're going to get out, what time you're going to get out, what price you're going to get out, what number you're going to get out, what target you're going to get out. So it doesn't drift away from you because once the momentum is over, it's done. In fact, I sent an email. I said, make a decision. We're getting out of this because once this is done, this is done. And, and, and that is really what happened here today with this. Um, and while this certainly could be higher between now and the end of the week, depending what other earnings come out, I mean, I don't know why you would hold this through today. And actually, you, you would still be up in this here into the close, even with the drop off in here from where I called it because it's so far through the strike anyways, even at the close today. But this is institutional buying. This is almost like panic buying, which again is so rare. The last time we saw panic buying was BYND in 2019. In fact, let's look at that. Oh, no, I don't want to move off of that because I don't want to screw up that chart because I want to. Well, let me just show you the B. No, I'm not going to be able to do it with that. Let me see if I can show you. Let me show you the BYND. Here. Here. Put that back. BYND. This was, for those people that were trading with me this long, there are people in the options newsletter with me this long. This gapped up here. We did trades in this. We did trades in this. Then it had another gap up in here. Like this was insane. It kept going and going and going and going. It was like you, and it, again, it's hard to tell here, just looking at it, how the options chain was working, how it ran from the time I called it and the way it spiked up. But it just had this spike. This was Friday. This was the Monday. And it was just insanity. It was just insane. It was just like one of these things where it just went so big, so quick, so fast. And then you say, gosh, where could it go? It just could keep going. And that's what it did. So this was like panic buying this thing here. And that's what Microsoft reminded me of yesterday. I mean, today, I'm sorry. I guess it was a long day. I feel like it's yesterday. Um, this just reminded me a lot of that. 
you know. So one of the reasons I prefer to short, for those who've been following me, is because short moves happen quick, selling happens fast to the downside, but you can you can take a long trade and make money. We do go long sometimes, but to have this move so fast, so quick, so big is rare to the upside. Very, very rare. This lifted the market today. It's the reason the queues were green today. I know some other things rallied to the banks, Netflix, but this was the big winner today. Absolutely. More than $20 from the initial takeoff position, if you want to call it that, when the news launched. And I just happened to be sitting here. Just It was just, you know, just happened to be sitting here when the news came across, saw it, looked at it, boom. You know, no hesitation on my part. So I'm thrilled about that. Lots of people were really happy with this trade today. Again, if you were on the Gap Options newsletter, you got this trade. It was the 360 calls that expired the 21st. The trade is done. And people... You know we're happy to get it but when you see something that's just getting momentum again whether it's to the upside or the downside you always want to get out into the momentum so you always want to exit into the momentum you can wait till it drops back a little bit but that's it like in your mind you have to have a target position because once the trade is done it is done and again that doesn't mean this can't continue up past today depending on what earnings are in the next couple of days or with the market but you would you would have to get out of this today to to bang your profit on it again you, you know it's just the right thing to do and um i'm looking forward to getting more trades like this quite frankly i don't care if they're to the upside or to the downside this was just so rare to see something like this and again you had to be in the trade and watch the options chain to see what i mean for it to go from pennies to dollars as quickly as it did a lot of times people just feel like they're chasing it when they don't do it. Not me. I don't hesitate whatsoever at all. It's momentum is the way you make money trading. That's it. Again, this is buying. This was institutional buying. It was Microsoft. It ran up 20 points. We bought calls, which was an option, which means we, we went long it. Um, we were done day trading by the day. We shorted in the day trade room this morning. This made new highs today. Again, this wasn't an earnings trade. This was news. I don't remember when the earnings are on this. It's not this week, so I'll look it up more about it later. But again, this was a trade you could have done, been in and out. The fact that you have four more days left on this or three more days left on this is irrelevant. The fact that it could be higher is irrelevant. You, you know, you want to time options with the momentum. We did that today. It was really just a, just a perfect trade. Just, just an absolutely, absolutely perfect trade. So you got to be in it to win it. If you're interested in the Gap Options newsletter, email me and Melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.